Hi everyone, this is Marty with Pezzadoodle and we're here for lesson five on Imagine This Friday. And I want to talk to you today about borders. This was something that I thought was odd or unusual or I couldn't quite figure out when I first started seeing images done with the Imagine before I got mine. So I've cut out these images here. These are from the Best Friends Imagine cartridge. And you can see that on the balloons there's a light blue border all the way around. It goes around the strings, around the balloons. And so that's what we're going to, going to talk about today. So what if you don't like that border? What if you would prefer the border to be maybe a dark brown so that the balloons stand out more? I think it's blue because it sort of blends in with this background, but for those of you who would prefer an image that looks a little less flat, you may want the border to stand out more. Or perhaps you want a thinner border or even a thicker border. So there are ways you can change that when you're cutting your shapes. And you'll see I already have the shapes picked out. Up here at the top, I've split them into layers. So we're going to hit next. We're ready to do the printing. So we're going to tap settings right down here. And if you look up here it says border preferences. That's where you can change your border. You want to choose a custom border. So here you can define the color and the size. So let's choose a brown. We can go darker or lighter. We're going to go dark. So we'll hit apply. And then here's your size. You can make the border larger. Make sure you guys can see that. Or you can make it thinner started out at 0 0.04 so I am going to go a little bit smaller to 0 0.02 so now I'm going to hit apply and now you'll notice that every one of those whoops every one of those shapes now has that brown border on it can't see it in the close-up but you can see if I can get a better picture on the camera. I don't think it's going to focus for me. So now we're going to go ahead and print that and cut it out. Um, I am using the same paper that I cut my first ones on. So let's click this load last. Notice it moves the images down Oops. for me. And then we're going to go ahead and cut that. Okay, now you can see we have all of our images cut out and they have this brown outline or border around the edges most specifically are balloons that we wanted to make stand out. You can still see the strings are blue. But there's brown around the edges. So when we place it against our sky, they're definitely going to stand out a lot more. But you can see that the borders are much thinner this time than they were. Let's look at the balloons because we changed that setting and they're also brown because we changed the color setting. So have fun and play with the borders. It can really make a difference in your image. You may want some of the pieces, some of the layers to have a border and some not, which is also an option. You just cut them separately. And I think that it's a really useful thing to know as you get to know your machine. I don't like some of the colors of borders that they have chosen on the cartridges so I'm glad I can change mine to suit however I want it to look. So I hope you enjoyed this little segment 
I am going to make up my cards so that you can see them. I should have them at the beginning of the video for you. And I look forward to your comments. Let me know what you think and tell me if there's anything else you'd like to know about your imagine. Thanks so much.